So next video, still on hypothalamic pituitary pathways. What do you think we're talking about this time? So what is this here the focus of? Well, we've got the front of the brain over here again and the back. So this is going to be our anterior pituitary. And you already know about the signaling from the hypothalamus to this gland, um, but we're gonna do it again with more specifics now. So again, there's this common pattern that we'll see with this. We'll talk about what hormones these are, but hormones that are either releasing hormones or inhibiting hormones that are released from these cells in the hypothalamus. So this is going to be a releasing or inhibiting hormones. These are going to travel to this local portal system to the anterior pituitary, which is going to release other tropic hormones. Tropic meaning they cause the release. They typically target other endocrine glands. There are some exceptions. So um, the musculoskeletal system is not primarily an endocrine organ. So this is primarily tropic hormones that are released, typically peptide hormones that are going to target organs, often endocrine. If they're is targeting endocrine organs, these endocrine organs are also going to release hormones. So we're going to have a hormone release, for example, from the thyroid gland, which is called thyroid hormone. So this is going to be a common pattern of hormone one, hormone two, hormone three, and hormone three is going to go back and feed back and turn off the system. So negative feedback. That will be the focus of the next video. In this video, I want to focus on, introduce to you what these hormones are, um, just the names of each place, then we'll tie them together in the next video. So first of all, let's start with what you can see here. The hormones produced by the anterior pituitary. I'm gonna do these ones in blue. Oops. These are the hormones produced by the anterior pituitary. Prolactin is gonna target mammary glands related to milk production. Growth hormone, so growth and development of the musculoskeletal system. Thyroid stimulating hormone is going to stimulate the thyroid gland. ACTH, adrenocorticotropin hormone, is going to stimulate cortisol release from the adrenal cortex. And then gonadotropins are tropic hormones for the gonads. They're going to stimulate hormone release and other activities in the gonads. Luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone are the two. So these will primarily be next week. I'll mention them, reproduction. These two other tropic hormones. So these ones are the tropic hormones are gonna be the focus of this week. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six hormones that are in, produced in the anterior pituitary. Each of these causes another, as a target organ, is gonna have some effect. We'll talk more in detail about these target organs, you know the basics of what the effects of these targets are um, as a result of these hormones released from the anterior pituitary. Last thing on this video, um, I want to just introduce to you the names of the hormones that are produced by the hypothalamus that target the anterior pituitary. So these are the releasing and inhibiting. We'll focus on releasing hormones, but you should know 
that the hypothalamus can either turn off or turn on hormone release from the anterior pituitary. So releasing and inhibiting hormones from the hypothalamus to the anterior pituitary. I'm gonna just list them here um, and then we'll talk more about them in context, right? So the one way to teach you this is just to give you the information and then the other ways to do it in context of each pathway, I'm gonna do both. So first I'm gonna tell you all the names of stuff um, and then we'll walk through some of these pathways. So for example, there is growth hormone releasing hormone and there is growth hormone inhibiting hormone. You imagine what this hormone, these hormones might stimulate or inhibit its growth hormone. So we could walk through that pathway. So we'll do next. Then there is going to be corticotropin releasing hormone. This is going to be an important one related to the stress response. There is gonadotropin releasing hormone, gonadotropin GN. It's gonna stimulate both LH and FSH. And we'll talk quite a bit more about that one. And then there's thyrotropin releasing hormone. Thyrotropin means it's going to trigger a thyroid stimulating hormone. We'll, we'll look at that pathway too. Now, these aren't the only hormones. Um, there's somatostatin and which I think inhibits prolactin. There's more. These are the ones I wanted to focus on because these three will be ones we'll draw out the pathways for. This one is a nice example of the fact that there is an inhibiting hormone for some of these as well. So you can inhibit the effects of growth hormone 